So now we're outside. Take the synapse, and reinstall it. Okay, you want to put a little bit of water with your finger around the o-ring. It'll help it seal. And then you're going to tighten this cap head screw and this cap head screw. But you want to do it in an alternating fashion. Basically you want to tighten this one down a little bit, tighten this one down a little bit keep alternating back and forth that'll prevent the cap head screw from basically pulling the synapse to one side or the other and that would cause you know the uh, basically the compression of the o-ring on one side or the other more so than the other and you know it could end up messing up the o-ring could also um, you know not make a good seal so Just give it, give it some little twists, and it slides on. Okay, position it where you want it, and then tighten up your set screws, and then you're gonna want to hook up your um, boost signal line from the vacuum source. So basically what I did, same thing as Red Hot Dam, add this 3 8 uh, inner diameter size tubing to the nipple that sticks up and then get a T. It's basically 3 8 here, 3 8 here at the top and my particular setup carries a 6 millimeter line over to the, uh, I guess the signal line on the blow-off valve that is closest to the center. I don't know if it's A or B. It doesn't really matter. It's the it's the one that's closest to the center. Um, that's how I did it. I mean, it's best not to cut this factory line. There is a check valve right here, so if you do cut the line, you want to make sure that you know you tap in on the uh, on the other side of this check valve because after this check valve you're not going to get a vacuum signal um, or it won't be vacuum only anyway 